Here's G.I. Joe Michigan Critical Heavy Fire Power Expansion. It's the only kind of full box expansion you're going to get. It tells you exactly what you're getting on the back, and you can see it is a nice packaging. Although, you're probably going to want to stick all of this in the main box anyway, even though you have a really cool picture of Destro there on the front. You're going to get a rule book, so it's going to tell you, uh, first off, all the components that you're going to get with it, the new character cards and stuff. It's going to tell you how to use the new expansion. And on the back of it, it's just wasted space, some artwork and credits for everybody included. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do. These are just new enemy cards, new people to play with, etc. Not a lot of rule changes per se. <clears throat> First of all, you're going to get some new vehicles. So you're going to get a glider, use those carbon E here, performs an attack to ignore the guard keyword, which is really cool because those guards can be super, super nasty to deal with. An assault copter dragonfly, deal one damage with each enemy card. So if you have a lot of them out and you want to spread out some fire, that can be nice. You got shark, until the end of this battle, each time a hero suffers damage, they may choose one card in their hand and place it on top of their deck. So now you're putting things where you want it to be, but certain characters, certain powerful cards you want out, that's very, very good. We're going to have Roadblock, Heavy Weapons, once per battle. When an enemy card is defeated, you may spend a Lightning to deal excess uh, damage from that card to an adjacent enemy card. Gung Ho, when I was growing up, he was one of my favorites. A uh, Once per battle, when you reveal a Star ability for defense, you may resolve that ability in additional times. You get twice for that. And then Bomb Strike. Once per battle after a vehicle without the passive keyword is used, may turn it into the power board and start discarding it. So that's really good because if you get something, like say this Falcon, you want to ignore a guard, you want to do it more than once, and it's a cheaper one too, you can put it right back in the stack instead of drawing a new one, and you can plan out your attack. So she's pretty good with the vehicles and a very good addition. Now, inside here, you're going to have your miniatures, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Let's finish taking a look at some of these cards. So you're going to have your roadblock cards that you will have here. And the one I like here is the gain one lightning and each hero may place one card in their hand on top of their deck, immediately play an additional card. That's a free one, so always time for a cookout. And then he has his big energy can, his big attack and big defense on the same card. So that can be a little bit challenging. You're gonna have, uh, let's see, you're gonna have bomb strike here. Gonna have some common attacks, but let's look at the good cards. Play this card when a hero uses a vehicle to reduce its cost by one. You may play this card in any battle regards location. Once again, she's manipulating the wep or the vehicles pretty well. And she puts a big airstrike, so six dice, three defense. May remove up to three foot soldiers from the power board to reduce the energy cost of this card by an equal amount. You may play this card. So when you have those guys up there, you can actually take them off instead of getting a vehicle to do this targeted airstrike. So she's bringing her own vehicle into it, if you will. Let's take a look at um, Gung Ho, which is one of my favorite characters growing up. It is some, some basic attacks, but he's got a lot of attacks. Now his maneuver is going to be gain two lightning and place this card on top of your deck. If it's a star, if this card is revealed for defense, the next time any hero performs an attack during this battle, add one die. So he's helping out his buddies. Now this is going to be his powerful one, the grenade launcher, which is five. We just saw bomb strike have six, but this one's a really good defense. It activates on the star. It's revealed for defense. You may discard a card from your hand to roll two dice. Don't must add any enemy, enemy card of your choice. That's pretty nice, especially in the middle of a battle. And then we're going to have the introduction of Destro. He's going to have his own cards here. You can see the biggest one is going to be 8. And he's going to be a little bit of a nasty extension here. Deal 2 damage to each hero. Increase damage by 1 for each attack on Destro's cards. So the more you attack him, the more powerful he's going to get. Let's take a look at this big strong one. It's a guard. And it's passive. While this card's in play, each time a hero deals any amount of damage to another Destro card, reduce that amount by 1. So every time you're peppering him, it's going to be kind of blocking that off. And this one drains your lightning. I think these are particularly nasty for me because you need those lightning to play the cards. When he's draining them, it's just a constant battle there. Two damage to each hero. Oh, this one's really good too, the illicit weapons dealer. It's got the guard and it's passive. While this card's in play, each time a hero resolves an attack, targeting this card, deal three damage to the hero. So these ones that are passive and their guard, they're blocking the other cards that are next to them. He knows he doesn't have any fast. So these will just be dealt wherever they are. If you can get them in the beginning, it's a little bit better because you can attack them a little bit sooner. Uh, they don't deal a lot of damage, but the Destro ones can be particularly nasty, and they can be a fun one to battle. And then we're going to have uh, some of these cards here. Let's look here. The Destro and Scrap Iron. These are just the, the little placement cards for them. And you have Scrap Iron, which will be 
the little uh, guy that you'll be fighting here. Half the heroes of this battle run up, discard the top card of their deck, deal two damage to each hero. One hero reveals the top card of their deck. If that card has a shield on it, a two, it's discarded. Otherwise, that card is discarded and the ability is resolved again. So we can keep getting it with that brilliant weapon. While this card's in play, heroes can attack any scrap iron cards other than Litmus. So you gotta hit this one her first. And you gotta hit it often. While this card's in play, the shield value of all cards is reduced by one. It's a passive ability. So you have to make hard decisions because he's gonna be breaking down your defenses the entire time. And I find Roadblock works well with him because Roadblock is a good defensive character. So if you're gonna go against Scrap Iron, I think Roadblock is somebody that's pretty, pretty, pretty good to bring in. Let's take a look at these miniatures here. One of my favorite, probably no, no surprise to you, Look at this thing here. This is an impressive miniature here with this big old gun shooting out in the detail. Remember, these are bigger than most miniatures you're going to see in games, kind of like the Power Rangers game and the base game of the G.I. Joe. This is just a fantastic looking one. Uh, my Roadblock disappoints a little bit with this gun, but he's more of a defensive player, if you will. But he is locked and loaded on the back here. He's got missiles here. He's got a gun in his hand. He's got some blocked up here. He is loaded down, and those muscles, I mean, he reminds me a lot of Jesse Ventura, if you remember him. Uh, that's who he reminds me a lot of in those days. And then Bomb Strike does not disappoint. You know, she's calling in the vehicles. She's the master of those kind of things, because she has a backpack, and she is ready. Not as big, you know, as, as wide as a lot of the miniatures, but she is a powerful character, especially if you want to manipulate, especially if you want to manipulate those vehicles. Okay, now look at this. His gun is smoking. Do you see that? That is smoke and fire and weaponry coming out. He's all ready for his shot. That's why they call him Long Shot. And he almost looks futuristic to me. He looks like somebody you can see him crouching down. He's ready. That is just a cool pose. Renegade Games did a great job with the miniatures in the set. Now, one of my favorite bad guys growing up, he just had a look to him as Destro. I don't think this is the most impressive miniature they could have had of him. But when he's going to be painted up, he's going to look pretty, pretty fantastic. I would like a little bit more detail to him, but um, you know he does bring it home. I think once he gets painted up in his black and his and his silver chrome dome, he's going to look fantastic on the table. So that's what we're going to have here. What do I think of the heavy firepower? These are some of my favorite characters. I really like Roblox, like I've said, his big old gun and the way she manipulates the vehicles is really, really, really fun to play. I enjoy long shot or scrap iron. I think he's really fun to beat up on. And then Destro himself is one of my favorite bosses. So I like uh, beating up on him. So now you got the Cobra Commander, you got Destro, you got both of them you can put in there. Uh, he, he's particularly nasty. I think both of these uh, do give you a challenge when you're playing, and new heroes were fun. So no um, changes or tweaks to the gameplay necessarily, but this is what you need. And, and Renegade, if you're watching, we need more content, we need more of this stuff. Because we need this to look like Power Rangers where there's expansions coming out all the time. We need more characters. We need more people to beat. The variety is going to sell this game. The base game, while it has a lot of fun things in it, being able to put more and more characters and mixing these things up, you want different henchmen. You want different villains. You want different people to fight. This game is all about striking the balance with the variety, and you need a ton of variety. This one does the job. has some of my favorite characters. Um, even the uh, Gung Ho, sorry, was one of my favorite ones in the show. Um, Bomb Strike, I think she's really fun manipulating the vehicles, and it's something completely different than what I've seen in the rest of the sets. Excellent, excellent set. One I highly recommend you getting.